would literally jump fences. <laughs> As employees, jumping fences to get into the movie theater. Like, <laughs> yes. Hey guys, I'm Karina. And I'm Myra, and we're playing Never Have I Ever. We're twins, so I feel like I know a lot about you. But you don't. But today we're going to see if we can learn some things about each other. <laughs> the tea of it all. We're about to get exposed. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. I have, I have never. never. Does that even, like, exist? Like, let's be real. Like, can you really fall in love at first sight? I'm at sorry. Do you sight? even know the person? Yeah. Like, I feel like you could see somebody and think they're really cute or something, but it ain't love, love at first sight ain't real unless it's, like, you know, like, well, it's real, Myra. When you give birth, it's love at first sight. Oh, it, that's it, true. It, it, that's true. We haven't experienced that, but when I met Buns, it was love at first sight. So maybe not like with humans. But with, <laughs> Wait, no, what do you mean? When so I, your no, is. when I met Buns, I really it was love at first sight. Like I instantly like loved her when I saw her. I mean, and then of course, like if you have kids instead of like giving birth, I'm sure that's love at first yeah, sight. Yeah, definitely. I think it's real. It could be. We just haven't experienced. But I yeah. Know. Never have I ever seen a paranormal activity. Yes, I have. I have. When we used to live in the mobile home, this was years ago, I was going to sleep already. My mom was already putting us all to sleep. And I saw the hallway light was still on. And girl, I literally heard the steps. I literally thought my mom was walking through the hallway and I looked down and <laughs> I see just shadows. I hear the <laughs> footsteps and I see no feet. I was like, who the hell? So I've seen stuff, you have it. Have I heard? Yes. Have I seen? No. Do I believe? No, but yes. I feel like I, like if you ask me this question, I'd be like, I have. We experienced a lot of paranormal stuff growing up. Like too much, you can't even justify that, it. Yeah, those houses were crazy. Never have I ever gotten stitches. I have never. I have never. Yeah. I should have gotten stitches when this happened. Oh my God, that's true. Yeah, so just a little story time. Uh, you know how like when you put patties in the fridge and they like freeze together? Oh, I wasn't happened. patient enough when I was like 11. I was not patient enough to let it like thaw. So I took a knife and I just started cutting off like the top so that I could just pop off. And then since it was like slippery, uh, it slipped and like I cut the top of my wrist. It was bad too. And, when I, and I was smaller so I remember it was like almost like on my wrist. The top. Yeah, like the whole skin was flapping and everything. It was, it was yeah, crazy. it would like lift. And I'm 100% sure I needed stitches. It actually scarred really bad. But, you know, my parents were like, put a bandaid on, you're good. I don't know, I feel like I haven't really had like an injury injury. Wow. Thank God. Yeah, like I literally just have like a little scar of like the dog biting my lip and that was in chin oils. Never have I ever been fired from a job. I have. I definitely have. Me and Luis, oh my God, me and Luis were arguing with a lady. She was yelling at us because the restroom was clogged and I was like, what do you want me to do about it? Like, it's not my fault. And then she was yelling at Luis and then, you know, he had an attitude too. And he's like, cause we used to work at a movie theater. He's like, you came to watch a movie, not take a You came to watch a movie, not take a and like it was so bad, it's actually really embarrassing. Well, I worked now. at the same place, and I remember I took a day off once, and they were like, "Okay, you don't gotta come back." But so see, was I got fired. I don't know. If, is that? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I was fired. I love that job, man. It was. I went in and out of there. Like I don't even know if I was fired. That's if the thing. I, I worked, it was basically. It was a morning. swap me in the morning. Yeah, that's right. And what we I was were doing. out in the in the stands selling churros. Those were the days. Yeah. Never have I ever snuck into a movie theater. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, hold on, that's the same place that Myra worked at. <laughs> we used to sneak in, and I, okay, this is not just like a movie theater. <laughs> my, I think this is when I was kind of like laid off because I would come in and out. I worked at the Swap Me like in the daytime, right? Because this is like the drive-in theater. In the daytime, <laughs> it's like the Swap Me, and then at night, <laughs> it's like the theater, right? So I don't understand, cause like I was working in the day, in the daytime, but like I couldn't get free tickets. Like, girl, like let me in. I gotta be up here like at 5 a.m. Y'all can't let me in into the movie theater for free. Like, so us, anyway. our little group of friends, since it was like a drive-through, you know, the drive-through had its like exits. <laughs> we were going through the exits. We would literally jump fences. <laughs> As employees, <laughs> jumping fences to get into the movie theater, like, <laughs> yeah. Those were some great memories, dude. Like, jumping the fence. Those were the days. We used to jump the fence. And, like, we time. worked there. Like, why? <laughs> what a shame. Like, 
Okay. Never have I ever cut my own hair. Um, I have. Yeah, I have too. I just chopped my own hair chopped. recently. Like, it's so uneven too. I have. Like, I've always cut my hair. I don't believe in like going, I mean, no, we've been going to a hairstylist recently, but like, if I want to chop my own hair off, I'm going to do it. Bring the razor out. <laughs> Are you okay? Never have I ever taken a YouTube video down. I have. I have. Uh, uh, it's only been one time. And I had this video, it was during Vlogmas, where I pranked a friend that I bought her a car. And everybody was like really offended in the comments. And I thought it was hilarious. But people didn't get it. They thought it was messed up. I was like, come on, y'all. It was a prank. Like, people were so... It was so... so funny. The people that understood it thought it was hilarious. But I thought it was, yeah. Some people were offended. So I felt bad and I took it down. My first video was a, like, smoky bronze makeup look. And I I regret deleting it. I do. I was so embarrassed of it. You deleted it? You didn't even put it on private? You deleted it? Yeah. Like... I mean, I just you should not private. be embarrassed. Like, leave it. That you. That's how you get to see your progress. And I deleted it, like, literally within the first like few months, because I was oh. so embarrassed of it. Never have I ever stayed up all night. Oh, I have. I have. I've done the whole 24 hours. That funny. A hundred percent. You know what? I actually did it recently. When and I do this all the time when I travel. If I have a flight at 5 a.m., mm. I don't sleep at all because I'm packing literally an hour before I leave to the airport. Now if I, I have don't. something to do the night before and something to do in the morning, I'll literally like. I just know I'm not gonna sleep at all. Like just the other week, I slept like an hour, but that's not like busting the whole one. Oh, why did you sleep an hour? Because I was doing stuff and I had to wake up early the next day. Never have I ever been on a blind date. I've I never. I've never. Yeah. I don't know. I would be way too scared for that. That's scary. Never have I ever wished I lived alone. I have. I have. Yeah. I feel like privacy is important and we don't yeah. get that. When we were living in the mobile home, like what, like 10 of us or no, eight of us in a two bedroom house, like That's it when was, I wished it the most. I, would, I hated sharing rooms with a room with everybody. It was always a disaster. Stuff would go missing all the time. And there's nothing more than I wanted to have my own room. So when we started making some coin, Myra and I were like, bye, we're getting an yeah. apartment. And what did we do? Like six months later, we broke the lease and moved back in with our family. Yeah, because we can't handle being Because we were phone. having separation anxiety, which links back to our childhood. Because we used to be oh so, my God. we had major separation anxiety when we were growing Plot up. Plot twist. And now it adds up. My boom. And look at us now. So Married, <laughs> living with our family. Well, I feel like I have to get away sometimes, I'm sorry. But you wouldn't be able to fully move out, you've said No, it. no, even when I'm away from my family, there's nothing like Do you think home. I could do it? Yeah. I feel like you're, you're probably But you wouldn't want to come back too. Trust me, I Myra, would be at my parents' trust every Trust me, I craved independence so much and like moving out. But yeah, I would you move out all the way. No, I, I'm gone a lot, but like, trust me, there's nothing better than like home, period. There's but when I have better. a home, it's gonna be my home. Yeah, but there's nothing better than home, like home home. Trust me. Unless your home has goals for real. Yeah, I know. Speaking of living alone, we are currently filming our own reality show with Awesomeness TV, Going Garcia. So stay tuned for our crazy, fun family living all under one roof. It's madness. Get ready, buckle up, honey. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to Awesomeness TV while you're at it. Subscribe to us. Thank y'all for watching. Till the next one. Bye.